Hey guys, I have just taken some pictures of my uh, little Cheerson um, helicopter to put on on the website which we have called RC Gallery. Uh, it's a website where you can like just share your stuff so people can see what you have and you can help each other out with problems. You got like forums and everything, and they also got a sale and trademark and all that. It's like a cool site in Denmark, um, RC forum, and it doesn't matter if you fly or you drive or you sail or whatever uh, it's for everybody so it's a really nice side um, I'm just gonna set up mine because there's only one more up of these and the guy actually put it up yesterday and I had mine before his so I'm kinda like yeah I should have done it first but <laughs> I didn't so anyways um, I've just taken some nice pictures um, using my nice camera here I got the ES600D or the 3Ti Rebel um, I'm still looking for getting a new microphone for it uh, which is also bringing us to another thing. You know, I said to you that I wanted the Losi Mini 8 RC car and from, from nearest 2000. I found the guy who had it for sale for, for a really low price, about 600, and uh, that comes with a whole lot of stuff. So I um, I purchased that, I paid for that today, and that should be shipped out tomorrow. I'll have that Tuesday with a bit of luck, uh, which is cool. And the rest of the money, which um, I didn't spend on that car uh, by getting a brand new one, I will then be looking out to getting. Um, a new microphone which I can use with the camera. So here we go again Me and Sally out. Beautiful day. A little bit windy, so I don't know how much I can hear I noticed that recently that uh, there's a lot of wind noise coming in the camera I wish I could like invent a wind sock to put over this camera here it would be nice for vlogging um, I don't know maybe I'll go home and experiment with something The one problem about this camera is, as I mentioned, the microphone. Else, it's a beautiful, good camera for vlogging, and I'm really happy with it. And it's been a good camera. Um, I've recently seen that Canon's come out with some other cameras, which a lot of bloggers are starting to use. Um, one of them is called the G7X, Canon G7X. It's a power shot, um, not much bigger than this, but the amazing thing about it is, like, it's supposed to be extremely good. Uh, and I was like, ooh, well maybe I should upgrade this one I have here and get that instead until I went in and see the price, like, what the fuck? It was like very expensive. I don't know, I don't know really if I should uh, see if I could save up and get it. Because um, this here, as I mentioned before, it's a cheaper camera. It's only maybe about a thousand, then it's going to 800 to a thousand. And that's why I think, well, it's like my everyday tool and it should it break, it's not impossible for me to afford a new one. It's like within the range of what I, can like some sort of save up very very quickly like in I can get it in a month or so so that's like a good emergency uh, knowing that I can do that however the other one is about the same price as my 3Ti Rebel um, but uh, I don't know it has a flip screen and everything you can go and look it up it's called Canon G7X uh, and there has been some reviews where people like saying it's good and some people say it's bad uh, but the reviews I've seen the most has been people testing pictures uh, where it's a vlogger, we use it for videos. I mean, I have taken pictures with this camera many times, but not as much as I would if it was only a normal photo camera. Uh, had it been a normal photo camera, I wouldn't have bought it. I only bought it for the video. Hello guys! Well, evening, because it's like kind of late now, but it's time for me to go and have a shower and go to bed because, um, yeah, <laughs> it's getting late. And, um, well, it's not that late, it's only like 1 a.m., um, which is like very early for me. But I'm gonna have a shower and like go to bed because um, <clears throat> I don't know tomorrow how, how I feel about it, but I do want to try and start out the living room a little bit more because it's getting a little bit uh, annoying. Look at all the tools that are lying on the table and all that. And, um, we have some stuff I want to take up to the uh, storage facility, but also got skate park tomorrow, and I need to go out there a little bit earlier so I can film some more for um, the GoFundMe video. 
um, which I so want to do and I hope that I can um, <clears throat> get it finished really really soon and maybe get some people to uh, donate a whole lot of money towards the skate park so we can maybe have some insulated walls and stuff like that I mean it's okay if you live somewhere where it's warm all year round but here in Denmark we have like six months where it's not very warm mm, sorry maybe maybe more than six months it probably more than like eight months a year where it's not very warm and the rest of the time it's okay tomorrow I hope to uh, well this will be today when you see this but I hope that uh, I will have heard from Torkel and Philip about making a little video clip about the uh, five numbers for the giveaway and people say like five number you said only to leave one so yes you leave one number but there's gonna be five winning numbers so um, out of those five numbers I'm gonna find everyone who got those right and um, then there's gonna be like a draw between each of them uh, just like I did last time so yeah very exciting about that but five prizes have already been shipped out of the world and uh, I can't wait for it. Um, I'm so excited about it. And uh, I hopefully can film that out in the skate park as well. I think that would be cool. But anyways guys, I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm tired and... Uh, oh, you need to go and check out on Spotify if you go and search for IQ Miller. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description so you can see he's just come up with a new album and he's got some fantastic songs, including the one which I was in the music video, um, the Unicorn song. Um, half of it is Danish, half of it is English, but he, all the other songs are basically on English, um, and he's such a cool guy, such, such talent, I really hope that he will have a massive break one day and come through, because he deserves it, he worked so hard for it, and uh, yeah, he, he's like the material who will go all the way, so I can proudly say that uh, one day I knew him, and uh, whenever he's a big massive star and all that, well, I can look back at the time and say, Yo, I'm in a music video with him. <laughs> probably because he, he will one day probably end up being such a big star that he won't even have time and, <laughs> and, and anything to look back at us normal YouTubers, which he started with. But he's like, he already got like over 80,000, close to 90,000 subscribers, so he's doing well. And he deserves a lot of respect. He's a cool guy, very genuine. So yeah, go check it out, IQ Miller. The album is called... Uh, a monkey in a suit if you can't find IQ Miller um, but you can also go and check out Mr. Craner's channel if you like to watch Minecraft gaming videos Mr. Craner is also a Danish guy um, and he does some really cool fun videos and um, that's the actual only gaming videos I watch uh, and have ever watched <laughs> because basically I know him a little bit and um, he's just he's just a cool guy definitely and he just put up another video today which also is part of what IQ did and uh, it's called a square world so I won't say any more than that so a link for that down description as well and please subscribe and say i silly sent you he'll be happy yeah all right guys time for me to go to bed i'll see you tomorrow peace stay awesome and epic and uh, good luck in the go away